The Hawaii Partnership for Climate Smart Commodities and my research program are committed to transformational efforts that rebuild resilience, health and equity in Hawaii's agroecosystems. By working directly with Hawaii producers and practitioners, we make sure that we are pursuing an equitable work and that our work is grounded on the needs of the people of Hawaii. Through our innovative and contemporary uh, approach to science that interweaves both Western and indigenous knowledge pathways, we hope to create a transformed system that acknowledges Hawaii's unique ecological and cultural context. The main premise of ancestral science was optimized for how people can feed themselves in a very remote area, in a very hyper-localized way, within their own watershed. With the notion that the community as experts and the ancestral practices as science allows it to really be partnering with people that understood ahupua or this really deep science of how ecological and social ecosystems interact. So allowing those mindsets and frameworks to be engaged in and brought into contemporary designing of solution sets gives us a corpus of practice that expands hundreds of years of R&D. And that communities are holding it, are not just sharing this with the system, but being engaged as the agents of change. And one of the key premises of the Office of Indigenous Knowledge and Innovation is to really not just say that they're experts, but to understand what are the processes that they're invited into the conversation and can negotiate on their terms what being a co-producer of research looks like. Far beyond purely academic pursuits, our partnership is seeking to co-develop uh, definitions and metrics for success and implementation of climate smart practices. What my lab is doing is we're helping describe the different data holdings that are being collected both in the field and in the laboratory um, so that we can then integrate those into a modeling context to try to understand how the different practices on farm will project into the future with their soil carbon dynamics. In addition to that, we're starting to shift how we classify our landscapes and how we classify our soils to better reflect Hawaiian ecosystems and help the Hawaiian context. We're thinking, okay, what are the, the differences? What's the deviation that occurs when you take what was might, what might have been described for a temperate mainland context into uh, the tropical island context that we run into in Hawaii? Our partnership is structured very intentionally for equity, and that includes bringing producer and practitioner voice um, across the entire organization and our decision-making processes. That includes everything from soil carbon modeling to how we train and prepare a workforce to go out into the community and provide technical service. The fellowship that HARC has provided me has uh, allowed me to progress through my studies and, and learn more about the topics of research that I'm interested in. And this has uh, also opened the door for me to begin a research role at, at HARC, uh, specifically looking at plant breeding across Hawaii important crops as well as uh, tropical and subtropical uh, species. The opportunities in agriculture are endless, uh, especially with the expansion of technology and new methodologies. One of our partnership's priorities is to understand um, what producers and practitioners want for themselves and for their place and to help them understand and overcome the many complex barriers they face to implementing climate smart practices. So we use a pivot framework that allow us to understand the systemic challenges of Hawaii producers and practitioners. What are the cultural values? What are the social challenges or needs this will allow us to assist the producers and overcoming that barrier. So by the end of the five year term of the project, we allow these producers to keep not just collaborating with us, but allowing that agricultural industry to increase over the time. We're not only helping them get funds to do the climate smart practices that the producers want to engage in, but we're also able to help the producers to get research on the ground to understand what's happening with the practices that they're doing and then interpret that to be able to share it with the community so we can get that message out there. Our partnership is striving for metrics of success in areas of increased local food production and meaningful climate benefits of sequestration, in addition to more holistic views of uh, social equity and improved resilience in food system. 
So one of the principal objectives of my body of work in this initiative is to really establish the opportunities for growers to sell their climate smart commodities to scaled purchasers in the state of Hawaii. And in so doing, we're both providing a market for these climate smart commodities producers that ensures their economic viability and we're fulfilling a market demand on the part of visitors and the local population who are concerned with sustainable agriculture. As an increased number of growers adopt these climate smart commodities practices, you'll see changes in soil quality and fertility, and that's going to lead to the resilience of farming systems in the future. As a researcher, my positionality is one of power and privilege, and I choose to enter into allyship to identify and acknowledge complex sources of fissure and move forward together in collective action that pushes uh, the system towards a more equitable and just future. Accessing producers through our producer engagement team means that we are able to create long lasting partnerships. A lot of these organizations have already been out there working with producers, trying to reach their goals. Now we're able to come together with a shared vision and the resources to be able to implement climate smart practices. We are no longer working in our silos, but working across a whole gamut of producers so that we can reach the same goal.